Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel where I'll be unboxing the Orca Torch ZD710 Dive Torch. So stripping it out of the box, we can see it comes in this lovely hard case with this signature sort of orange zip and logo on the top. Nice and robust so if you're travelling and you don't want to sort of get any damage caused or you want to just make sure it's safe, it comes in this beautiful case. So opening up the case, you can see it's pretty similar to all the other dive torches from Orca Torch that we've reviewed. So you can see the battery, the charging cable, the torch, the lanyard, three spur O-rings and some paperwork. The paperwork contains the user manual, the warranty card and a sort of product catalogue if you will. Um, one thing to mention on the warranty card, make sure you do note down where you bought it from, the date you bought it and the serial number, that way if there is a problem you can always claim. First things first, it comes with a 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, has a standard sort of USB-C charging point on the back of the battery. Comes with a USB-C cable so you can just plug that into your normal sort of iPhone charger or whatever and then plug it into the battery while you're away or what, even while you're at home. Some people like to use them, so it comes with a lanyard, nice and handy that, you can tie it into your BCD so you don't drop it or lose it. But most importantly, spurs and repairs. Put that in your dive spurs box and you've got three um, beautiful new lubricated O-rings there. I'd write on the bag, Orca Torch ZD710, that way when you pull it out your saver dive box or whatever, and if you look up here, there's another link. I don't know which side it normally goes on, but there's a link to a box of tricks that I like to carry called Save the Dive Box. Anyway, if you put that in that box, when you go diving and you have a problem with your torch, so you can pull that out and your torch is now fixed. So getting on to the main event then, we've got our torch. As you can see, it's about 182 millimeters long, so not too big, not too sort of much of a problem to sort of carry on your kit. If you look there, see it's sort of only sort of the size of my chest. Admittedly, I'm only a little bloke, so it's not that big. So looking at the main body, so looking at the torch itself, it's made out of beautifully anodized black um, aircraft grade aluminium. You can drop this, they say, from about 150 centimeters and it's safe, it's good to go. You know, it's, it's pretty standard in, in most of its makeup. It's got a D-ring at the top so you can put your clips, your, your lanyard or whatever in the top to keep it safe. It's got a standard sort of orange, Logo, rubberized logo there so everyone knows when you're carrying it you've got the best torch on the market. Moving up along the body so this would be where the battery is housed you've got the on off switch which we'll go through later. A real good feature I like on the back of this now is a Goodman handle bracket so a lot of us certainly those that are tech divers tend to wear our not our computer our torch on our wrist on what they call the Goodman handle like so so it leaves your hand free to grab or to do whatever you need to might do, adjust stuff. But with your torch being mounted on your hand, it leaves that hand free, so it's great. So that is an addition you can get. You can put the the Goodman handle on there, bolt it in, and you'll look like a tech diver. Then moving up onto the sort of lens, if you will, or I don't know what else you would call it. What else would you call it? It's just a, the torch head. Right, so that's adjustable. So you can turn it left and right, anti-clockwise, clockwise, whichever way you want. And if you look, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. So what that does, it gives you a, a sort of beam angle of eight to 76 degrees. So that's really, really tight to really, really broad. The brightness on this is phenomenal. On turbo setting, so that's its brightest setting, is 2,700 lumens. Granted, the battery will wear down really quick. But this is a very versatile torch. It's got all the options I could ever want for whether it be photography or just a standard dive where I was gonna show a friend or a colleague, different things about a dive site. I, I could use this to highlight a massive area or pinpoint just a slight spot just by using the focus options with it. I can wear it on my wrist so I feel like a good tech diver, feel all cool about that. And ultimately when I'm wearing it on my kit on the way out, people can see it's an orca torch and be like, oh, how cool is he? He's got, a, he's got a, an orca torch. Because I tend to speak a little bit too quick and not everyone can understand what I'm saying, you might have missed loads of information about this torch. So I'll put that in the description below. I'll also put a link of where you can buy one from the UK. They retail at around £190, which I think in today's climate is really good value for money. You can certainly spend an awful lot more money on another torch, but not get an, auto, an awful lot for that money more than what the, the ZD710 offers you for 190 quid. I think it's a gleaming torch and I will not be 
without this on my next dive, which can't come soon enough. So if you've liked everything you've watched today or you like how I am or whatever and you've not already, please click the subscribe um, link below. Uh, give us a thumbs up anyway, just for, you know, for the crack. And if you don't like it, don't watch me again. Happy days. Thanks for coming. See you later.